and welcome to a tutorial on using Reflow with the Fourscore app from the Statewide Vision Resource Centre. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to activate the Reflow feature, create your own shortcuts and use the Reflow feature in the Fourscore app. Fourscore is a music library app allowing you to store PDF scores. Within the app, there's a feature called Reflow, which turns a standard piece of sheet music into one long continuous line of music. This can be helpful for students with low vision as the music is enlarged and they only have to follow one line. The first thing we need to do is activate Reflow. Open the app and tap the three dots in the upper left hand corner, then choose settings. In the dialog box, scroll down and tap accessibility. Under Interface, turn on Reflow. Go back to Settings and scroll up to the Navigation section. Tap on Page Turners and Shortcuts. You can find inbuilt shortcuts in this list as well as create your own. We're going to scroll down to the Reflow section. and tap on Reflow, then press the shortcut that you'd like to use. I'm going to use Control command r and Control command s for auto-scroll. You can import scores by tapping the plus under the My Library heading this includes importing a file or taking a picture. You can crop the picture. to make it the best possible quality, as well as doing a touch-up. We then have to save. and it comes up in your list of scores. To start Reflow, you can use the shortcut we just set up, or you can tap at the top of the screen to show the menu, and then tap on the settings cog in the, on the right hand side. The wiggly arrow down the bottom is what you're looking for. Fourscore automatically detects what it thinks are the lines of music. For a clear score that's been scanned on a proper printer, it usually does a good job, but it can miss things uh, like dynamic markings or first time bars, and depending on how good your photo is, you may need to do a bit of clean up work. Tap edit, and then you can see the boxes that are uh, what's been recognised by Reflow. The little blue dots allow you to change the size of the boxes. If it's missed a line entirely as it has in this case, you can tap the plus button to add a new box.
Once you're happy, you can press done and you get your reflowed score. You can tap the screen to start scrolling or use the shortcut that we set up earlier for auto scroll. If you tap the right arrow on the keyboard, you can increase the speed. You need to keep on tapping it to keep making it faster. Alternatively, you can change from scroll to page and use the arrows or a foot pedal to move across sections at a time. Thanks for watching this tutorial about using Reflow with the Fourscore app from the Statewide Vision Resource Centre.